No, mommy's not coming. No, mommy's not coming. Yo, what everybody, we are here today checking out a little banger. Some might even say literally on this one. By the name of Senora Maria. Now, as I understand, this right here is going to be following up on that Resident Evil Village trend. That fad. What is that fad you're asking? Well, obviously, big old dummy mommy hunting that ass down. What do you mean I can't bring my handgun? Charles, we can't afford another suspect being killed by an agent. Tony made that mistake, and now the chief is up my ass. Well, you can't just expect me to go in there without protection. I need to defend myself. Don't worry about it. Take a look at this. This is top secret, state-of-the-art, military-grade technology. Huh? A whistle? What the fuck is that going to do? Whoa, chill out, big boy. This is the world's loudest whistle. This will completely incapacitate someone with an effective range of 66 feet or 20 meters in non-retard units. But wouldn't that also affect me? <laughs> Do we look like amateurs? Try these on. These are protective earphones which are specifically designed to completely block out all of the sound frequencies that the whistle emits. Go on, try them on. I think they look lovely on you. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, but be careful. Don't just constantly blow into this thing. We don't want you to pass out. Alright Charles, your mission is to locate Dion's office and see if you can gather as many folders and tapes as you can. We lost communication with them 24 hours ago. Something must be wrong. Good luck! Okay, let's get to it here, huh? Supposed to find Leon's office. You make me so moist, Lou. I'm not sure that's proper protocol for office environment. I mean, unless they work in some sort of adult film industry type of environment. I guess that could probably work then. Investigate Dion's office. I mean, the copious amount of blood and maybe the possibility of an arm attached to the rest of a body is least there. Would probably tell me that things aren't going too well here, huh? Hard to believe this is the work of uh, just one lady and her and her mad lad boyfriend. Lewis was here. Okay, so that's probably the dude, the guy leaving those dirty messages, making people moist. Apparently. God, please no, no. Now, it should be noted, you guys actually might hear my fans for this recording. I assure you, I'm not recording from my local airport. I'm not next to the tarmacs here, uh, as the planes are taking off. This game is just making my fans pissed off. Oh my god, they are seething mad right now. Not sure what's going on with the optimization here, but oof. We have found Mr. Dion K. Kong's office. For years, you guys have tracked me, and you dumb idiots didn't even make sure you had the right guy. You killed Rodriguez, my brother, an innocent man. But I'm better! You guys suck! You hear that? Huh? You guys are fucking nothing! Don't you know who you're up against? I'm fucking Eduardo, bitch! Okay, so let's see. We got one of five of each. Now, as I understand, this Eduardo actually has his own game prior to this one. And it follows up. It gives you, like, you don't necessarily have to play the game to understand the story of this one here, but, um... It is kind of like a bit of a prequel, so... Prior to Senora Maria. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there's another file here. So I wonder if I'm also supposed to, like, you know, there... You could pop these open, which I would really, really hate for them to hide stuff in there. Just because of my OCD, like, you know, I, I would go through every single one of these things and just be so time-consuming. It's like, I don't, I don't want to do that. Don't make me do that. Because I probably will do it. The problem is I get so fixated by it. I won't know it is Senora Maria or Eduardo creeping up on me. Nothing here. Well, fortunately for you guys, I could edit these things out for you. See me, I gotta live this in real time. We got three of five. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got another recording around here. This, uh, this Eduardo has quite a mouth on him, I'm gonna say, you know? Hear footsteps? And I got this light on every single moment here. I should probably, you know, use, use it on occasion. I know it's gonna be pretty dark for you guys, but, you know, if we're, we're looking to get through this in one piece, 
I gotta execute a little bit of stealth, you know what I'm saying? Nothing here, okay. Just, we'll just pop a door open. We peek in. We turn. Oh! They killed everyone. I'm badly hurt. I can't move my legs. I think I'm gonna bleed out. If anyone hears this, tell my family I love them. Okay, we just need two more of each and we're done. What does done mean? I have no idea. <laughs> Mommy's not coming! Mommy, stop, stop it! it stop. No, you stop! Oh. Oh, recording. It's recording. Okay, you're in it. January 20th, 1954. I have just discovered that one of the samples provided by Tony contained DNA from another individual. A woman with no genetic similarities to the deceased. Hey, baby! Ah. What the hell is that? Where is she? Uh, my ear! How did you spot me through the- I was in the- I was in the- Oh! Oh, I can't- I can't- I can't whistle for that long. No, don't call him, Eduardo, don't call him. Stop it, I, I can't- I can't do this for so long. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, Eduardo could be around here, dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, two more files. <laughs> One more recording. Look, Eduardo was in that big room that we left. Hey, here, here. What the Stop hell it. is that? I need to get into these freaking rooms, but- He's here! Mommy, stop! Uh, what the hell is that? Uh, my ears! Chill momentarily. Chill. Just, just chill. Chill, chill. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Okay. We need to lose them for a bit. Those three rooms right... Oh, there she is. Just gotta find two more files and one more recording. Let's see. Okay. One and one. That's all we gotta do. One and one. I still gotta get back to that one set of rooms. I'm sure if we get there, we're good. Problem in, where is these maniacs at? How do I get there too? I think we go straight from here. I don't hear their footsteps. I hear him. I hear Eduardo. I know it's gonna be super dark for you guys right now. I'll try to. Oh! <gasps> Maria! He's here! Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we we'll get a load of these. Booba! Two hours later. Yo, we just need one more file, boys. And I can't seem to find it anyway. I'm starting to think that it might be in. What the fuck? Somebody's here. Make it stop! It's make it stop! I'm starting to think it might be inside of a freaking cabinet somewhere, which was my biggest fear of not searching all those things out. I already went through here. It's not here for for a fact. Would it be here by the exit? Oh god! I just need one more. Don't run into Eduardo. Don't run into Eduardo. That's all we gotta do. Don't run into him. Yo, I think we gotta pop these things open at this point. Not that one. Oh god, we gotta pop these things open. Oh, she's nearby. What the fuck? Make it stop! Make it stop! Hmm. This wasn't like this the last time I was here. Hello, oh, What the hell? What you do? Where's this one file at? Maria! Get him! No! <sighs> Look at this dude! Okay, 
can't run anymore. What do you mean I can't bring my? What do you mean? It's uh, it's uh, freaking shoot where Eduardo was just impossible to get by him. Like the moment he sets sights on you, it's over. Two hours later. Time I was here. Die! Hello? Okay. Now I'm Say done. good night. What do you okay, mean? Okay, no, no, you know what? I'm full tilt now. The sodium levels are just gone off the freaking roof at this point. I was so close in this one run too. You know what I found out? You actually can find the, the files inside of cabinets. And lockers. So the reason why last time we were so close, I wasn't able to find it, is because it was probably stuck in a freaking locker or a little cubby somewhere where they didn't check. And on this one that I got caught right now, I had all five files, which I found some again in lockers. All I needed was two more recordings, and I saw one as we were running just now. I just needed one more afterwards, and those aren't inside a cubby, so I could have done it. I could have done it, but now I'm full tilt because the whistle mechanic works for Maria fine. You know, you hold it down. It'll keep her stunned as long as you, until you let go, and you got to let go eventually because otherwise you you know run out of breath so you'll start getting all daisy and whatever. Eduardo, however, does not abide by the rules of the whistle. Eduardo spots you. He's gonna, as you saw, blad 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 into your apparently rounded the corner somewhere, but he's still chasing you at the same time. And as I was about to round the corner, we eventually just croak dead right there. So, the whistle mechanic, at least for Eduardo, if you don't want to have it work exactly like Maria. At least give you like a two second stunt, just enough for you to be able to like you know dip out somewhere so he doesn't constantly blatch you as you're running away at the same time. Because otherwise he's basically the wild card. Maria you can deal with just fine. Eduardo he's gonna just screw you up if he gets you in a wide open area. There's just no coming out of that one. Either way, down below I'll have a link in case you want to check it out for yourselves. Maybe you are able to get to the end. You tell me what it's like free game as I've mentioned so I got I'm not really like you know like mad about it too much I mean I'm a little bit salty but it's a free game I can't be like oh it's a terrible design because it's basically just probably developers just refining their craft and their tool for a game down the line so either way hopefully you guys enjoyed it I'll catch you next time